Masks required this announcement coming in today from Leeds City Schools. The new mandate goes into effect tomorrow and the change comes as that district deals with more than 10% of students staying at home due to a positive COVID case or having to quarantine because of an exposure. The mandate stays in place for two weeks for both vaccinated and unvaccinated. Well, masks also a topic of discussion today at a Vestavia Hills Board of Education meeting. Want to get out to WVTM 13's Ryan Hennessy live in Vestavia and Ryan two very different opinions tonight at that meeting. Yeah, Ian, that's right. And the board meeting just finishing up. So right on time here at Pizzitz Middle School. The big question, like you said, mass or no mass. Now they here were at the board meeting. We're going to show you a video of that board meeting that just ended here. And it really was half the room in this video. You can see split down the middle wearing masks, wanting it to be mandatory for children. The other half wanting it to be a choice. 18 people came up to talk at the meeting that just ended behind me. Here's some of the topics that stood out. Parents saying that the Delta variant is different. They also commented on attacking the board, listening to experts in 2020, but not now. Some other parents made comments saying that in August with masks were required in 2020 and they kept the full school year. On the other side, though, un-American is what they said if they have children wearing masks. And some of the board, they don't need a change, but they need to influence the students and encourage them by putting up signs and making video for kids. We spoke to some parents on their opinions. I feel like we're playing a game of Russian roulette with our kids. It's very difficult for children. I think if you had high schoolers, they probably could do it right for a while. Uh, but for, to ask, you know, five, six, seven year olds to wear a mask all day is, is kind of ridiculous. If you don't wear it all the time, is it really worth mandating if they can't wear it right and can't wear it all day long? So it really was fascinating. The building split down the middle, mass, no mass on the opinions of parents, but the same common goal. They just want their kids safe. We'll have more tonight at 10 o'clock on WVTM. Ryan Hennessy, WVTM 13. Ryan, thank you so much. The fight against COVID-19, kids are taking a really big hit, especially here in Alabama. WVTM 13's Ashton Jones is joining us live this evening. Now, Ashton, what is UAB telling you about the situation they're seeing there? Well, Brittany, Alabama is now top of the list for child hospitalizations due to COVID-19. That's a really scary position for us to be in. I spoke with a doctor at UAB earlier today, and he tells me that right now it's all about protecting our children. Alabama is number one in the country in the rate of pediatric hospitalizations due to COVID. Dr. David Kimberlin, co-director of UAB and Children's of Alabama's Division of Pediatric Infectious Diseases, explains there's a misconception COVID isn't as bad in children. COVID was the 10th leading cause of death in children last year. COVID has never been a cakewalk for children, and, and this Delta variant especially is something that's <clears throat> very, very concerning for us. Kimberlin reports 40% of the children admitted with COVID don't have pre-existing conditions. They are normal children playing outside, you know, with friends or with family one day who then get sick a little bit the next day and then end up in the you know, hospital in the intensive care unit. And it could take some time before children under 12 have access to the vaccine. We need to do it the right way, just like we did it the right way for the adults and then the adolescents and then the younger adolescents. But Kimberlin says the good news, now 16 and 17 year old adolescents can get the FDA approved Pfizer vaccine. And we continue to have the 12 through 15 year age group where the Pfizer vaccine is authorized for use. Dr. Kimberlin says if your kid is under 12 years old, don't try to get them the vaccine. It's going to be a while before they get all those tests through and make sure that it's safe. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Ashton Jones, WVTM 13.